Hey guys, it is the Trinity here, and in this video, I'm going to be completing the Mystery at Croft Manor map. So, it says here, complete it before the 30th of March to unlock the Air to Croft Manor spray. So, let's just hit play now. There we go. Alright, so we are already on this page, but oh well. Alright, so we are loading in now, and I've already got the spray here, so... With a good team of four people that know what they're doing, you'll be able to complete it in around eight minutes. Eight to nine minutes. With a solo player that knows what he's doing, like me, I completed it in nine and a half minutes, I think. So, let's hope we get four people that know what we're doing, and you can walk, I will do a walkthrough on how to do it. Even if we don't, and we get complete noobs for teammates, we'll still be able to get them it. Alright, four out of four people. One's a default skin, it's level 9. Alright. Clearly we've got one default skin. Alright, so keep your eyes out for puzzle pieces to unlock easter egg achievement rooms. Alright. So, those don't really matter. But I'm going to go through that anyway. Because when I got it, I did all the jigsaw pieces and you don't really get anything for it. I think it's just at the very end, so... Alright, game starting in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so you've got a trail of fire, which is this book, and you get a torch. I'm going to be using this torch the whole way through to mark where you need to go. Alright, you can read this. Check it out, I hear a noise coming from the library, Winston. Alright, this is the library room. You see, it's trail of fire leading up all the way to this door. <coughs> Alright then, so, 23 seconds already in, and you've already done this. It takes about 20 seconds and... Thing will be on. You can try and do it the hard way and get up this side, which I did the first time, but you don't need to. Wow, okay. That is slightly hard, getting up to this bit, sometimes. It all depends whether your game's lagging or not. There we go, alright. Jigsaw piece collected. <coughs> Pull that lever, and you don't have to pick up the boom bow. But when you run through, it'll teleport you back here. <coughs> Alright, shoot these. One, two, three, and four. You get this grapple right now. Get that piece there. You don't really unlock anything extra, it's just all this. And this is an extra room where you just run in through. Alright, so you see, nothing extra really here. Yep, just going to show you guys, there's nothing extra, and we've just got to wait for this bit to unlock. So, rather than standing here, I thought I'd show you what the area is, because it's rather boring just standing here, staring at this brick, okay, listening to me talk to you guys. But you can pull that lever to unlock it, but you can just run around and it'll open by itself after about 30 seconds. Alright. I'm dead here, fell on those spikes at the bottom. Not a problem though. I did end up grappling onto my teammate, so that kind of was an issue. But there we go. We're through now. So if you pull up the map, you can see how many times everyone's died. It'll show you the people, but it won't show you the time, because time really doesn't matter. Alright, another puzzle piece. And this is really easy, you can just literally sit back, eat a chocolate bar, have have your food, you know, do what do whatever you need to while you slide down there. And and you go straight to the left side and go through here. And you can just do a bit of parkour over here. And the first time I did this, I got through the parkour, got to here, ran on, went ah and it destroys the floor underneath you and fell into the lava. So you have got to be very careful about that, that. And you have to run and stick to the pylons, I think, is the best tra uh, strategy to go through here. Stick to the edge of the pylons. Until you get there. Pull the lever, and it glitches you on this spot. If you look, that explodes open, and that falls down. Activates that, and that turns. And now, when you've respawned, if you look, all around, 
absolutely zero traps. And hopefully, yes it has, it just created a bridge. And this bridge will stay here for the rest of the game. And because this person appears to be going over there, if you look in the top left, I forgot to tell you, it does actually tell you what you need to do, solve four unique puzzles. Now they are very unique, it's not just a generic puzzle type thing. And this, you want to do, is jump onto the boxes. You've actually got to throw the boxes, sorry I died there, but you do actually have to throw the boxes while you're doing it. So if I can show you, in a minute, when we get back here. I don't know if I said this, I want to create this into a 10 minute video just so you guys have an idea of how hard it is and how easy it is. Just jump along here. You go through this portal, you pull the lever, glitches you on the spot, you teleport back there. You watch it uh, drop the ball into the little cog thing. And you can die and it'll just respawn you back here. So that's probably the easiest thing to do, is just die. But now, they're all looking around, and what they don't know, light the torch. Looks like this was lit once before. Yes, it was. can carry a torch, it just lights up the room a bit. There we go, two. If you jump down there, you die. It just respawns you. So I hope this will be uh, informational and just helpful for you guys. Because it's not really entertaining this, watching someone do it, but I suppose if you're following along with it, I just want this to be nice to help people get this done. And there we go. Don't know if it'll open anything for us yet. Oh no, we need to open that one. We need to activate that torch. I don't know what my teammates are doing, they're just running around in circles, letting me do all the work, but... Could be worse. There we go, torch disappeared out of my inventory. And jump through here, pull the lever. It'll glitch you in this spot. You can watch that fall. You go and relight the torches in a minute. Yep, there we go, respawned. Oh no. Usually the torches go out. I'm not sure what to do here. Because usually one spawns over this side, there. That's where the other one spawns. Near the rift. Hmm. Maybe it's glitched. Oh, I, I know what to do now. Oh, yeah. There, this. Really? These. I forgot about this. I completely forgot. I do apologise. You've got to shoot these little white eyes on the doors. There we go. And it unlocks it. So even after making my skate, which cost me 30 seconds, I'll still be able to do it in a sub 10 minute video. So there we go, glitch in the spot. Final one, go down. And that door there will explode. Okay, respawn on the spot. And door's exploded. So if we run here, grab this dual pistol and this llama. Your teammates will also get a dual pistol and a llama, so don't worry. You're not the only one. And then zombies start spawning. I don't know where my teammates are. Oh, I've only got one teammate and it appears they haven't gone through the door yet. And once you kill a certain number, there will be a minigun that spawns here. And it's only represent a gun, it actually, um... It actually will give you one of four guns. Either a combat shotgun, compact FMG, a minigun, or a SCAR. So, it could be one of any, really. Hopefully, yep, it puts it in your inventory for your teammates, the first person that picks it up. And after killing about 40 or 50 of them, a golden brute spawns. So, yep, we've killed about 60 of them so far. And the golden brute should be spawning any minute, which is always good. Because, as soon as you kill that golden brute, a this floor destroys, and a golden, or a rift, it opens up below you. So waiting for the golden one now, just killing it. There we go, defeat the golden relic keeper, there we go. He appears to be glitched. Yes, go on teammate. Aim for the head. If you aim for the top of the back, it's easy to destroy him. 
And you only need to destroy him. The other zombies will just stand there and copy what he's doing. There we go, jump until we hit the checkpoint. There we go. This is the hardest bit to do. Got to run one banana, one banana, one banana, one banana. And you just got to kind of do one second, one second, one second. Uh, along the little thing there. You, you can't stand for more than one second or it'll destroy the floor underneath you. And you'll fall to your death. So, it says interact with this book if you're stuck. And it only skips this level and I'll explain what it means now. So, you impulse here. Impulse here, hold back on your controller or S on your keyboard or whatever button you have. And you impulse here. And this is where you'll skip to. This little bit here. And we do that. Oh no, it's this point. It's this point you'll uh, go to. When you use that book, it'll take you to the next checkpoint, which is this area. There we go. Go and get this piece. Run off the edge here. Try and jump to this little area here so you can make it. Go up here. Along here. And in here. And it'll explode. And place the relic. And even when all your teammates leave and you've only got one. Well done, you've restored balance to the mana. There we go. So you've got like, little relics around the room and things. And there we go. Under 10 minutes to complete it. If you just do that. If you guys want to use the book, it'll probably take you eight to nine minutes without actually completing it. There we go. This will end the game if you exit it now. That is the code for anyone who wants to use it. Feel free to redeem it on your console online at fortnite.com slash redeem. Enter the code for the free Tomb Raider spray as your reward for completing this adventure. So, hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.